that in the morning today at the Circular Design Challenge, which is the largest award for sustainability in the country, where we actually unveiled an alternative for leather, which is pleather, which is made from recycled flowers, you know, and has the same properties as leather. So I think as a fashion week, one of the things that we will do is work towards finding these alternatives, giving these alternatives the, you know, uh, the right of space to communicate to the larger community of uh, luxury brands and designers so that we can create this movement towards you know, a more leather-free fashion industry. Uh, also from our end, you know, uh, we also wanted to make a commitment in some way. So we are looking at, you know, and Darshana, uh, who heads sustainability for us, is going to work towards it, at least making sustainable fashion day a uh, leather-free uh, you know, uh, with a leather fee focus going forward. So, you know, at least we have a start point uh, towards this, you know, so that's something that we hope to achieve uh, in the seasons to come as well. Great, and we can't thank you and your entire team enough for this, and we really look forward to the next season. Uh, since we are short on time, we would now request our, uh, you okay. know, media members to ask questions which are relevant to this campaign. What are the leather products that sir, sir, you sir, sir. all use in your day-to-day -day life and yeah. you would want to <coughs> And you would want to give up on them. Uh, leather products that you use for me. in your day-to-day -day life and uh -huh. you would want to give up on them. Well, I personally don't use leather products at all. So whatever I'm wearing today is completely vegan. I've already given up leather, but, uh, wearing leather like 15 years ago. And I'm still, still living like yeah, without leather. So I think that's proof enough. Is, is such an I don't use leather products either. Um, my first question from any designer when I speak to my stylist is, is this leather? What it looks like leather? Um, and if they don't know, they have to verify. Um, the same thing goes with shoes, um, with bags, anything that I use for any of the shoots I do, or even just walking around in my normal life. Um, leather is not a part of my life anymore, and it's okay. And we're all we're all living, and we're all like Sachin said, we're all moving past, and we can all buy beautiful things, uh, and it doesn't need to hurt a man. I think you know when you see when you when you actually see what happens, um, and I encourage everybody to to take a look. Ignorance is not something that we should have in our life. We should know the things that are happening around us. So. I don't have leather in my life to, to answer your question. I have a dog, and my dog still has her fur and skin on her <laughs> forever. So uh, my question is that what steps or what uh, initiatives you all take to ensure that those who aren't really hardcore veganism fans will also come out and support this kind of fashion? So that's why we have this campaign, you know, to attract the public. Uh, we have undercover investigation footage to show to the public what happens to animals used in the fashion industry. And yeah, we have a different uh, means to you know, uh, cater to different type of uh, and, uh, This is something uh, that we have come up with. And we just hope that a lot more people will make note of it and contact us, call us ask about alternatives, how they can go leather free. And a lot of these animals are abused before we even, before they even get to the chocolate bar. They are caged, they are ghosted, they are chained, or leashed, put in tiny little cages. They can't stand up. They've never met their mother. They've never had milk from their mother. Um, they're pulled away from everything that you know, when, when someone is born or, born or an animal is, you think that their life is going to be amazing, it's just fresh new start. But a lot of these animals are pulled away from their families. They're pulled away, and then they're poked, and then they're killed. And some of these animals are skinned alive. They're not even given the humane approach of, you know, passing before their skin. So, if all of us, or maybe some of us, maybe your circles of 
friends, we can all get together and say, hey, as a group, let's not use leather. This is what's happening. This is what's out there. They're screaming, yelling, their skin is being pulled off. There are animals that are shrieking and crying because they're not being treated humanely. Even wool, um, for that matter, is, it's unbelievable what happens out there to animals. Can I ask one more question? Yes. Can I? Yes, yes sir. What's up? Assuming... First, you come here. Excuse me. I am MK uh, I just want to tell you that leather industry and leather design, these two are the most important part of our industry nowadays. So how can you be scary? <coughs> these two major, one is from fashion design, that is, uh, you know very well that we is talking in lift and other fashion uh, courses. Another is leather, leather technology which is being uh, taken from uh, different leather sources, which uh, Madam has said that this should be discouraged. So uh, my question is, is that how can you discourage to minimize? minimize. Thank you. Uh, so it is us who decides, right? Like what is important, what is not. And the world is evolving. People are moving away from uh, things that cause suffering to animals or humans. So if there are alternatives, why not go with it? And why just stick to something which is like old and archaic? You know? I don't think leather is something that makes a bold statement anymore. also, you know, fit it in your, in your framework. Wild animals? Yeah, because there is a, so much poaching and other, you know, uh, other activities are going on. 
compared with the domesticated animals, the leather of wild animals is very much expensive. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you have any, you know, plan for that? Not only that. So, it's not just about, you know, domestic animals or cattle, but we are just saying, stay away from animal skin. Like, what I'm sure most of you don't know is, uh, leather is also uh, dog skin. A lot of uh, the stuff that we wear is dog skin. Just because we don't have a tag, we don't know about it. So, you know, it's better to stay away from animal skin, be it any kind, domestic animals or wild animals. So, yes, we support it. I think if everybody here on their phones, their very, very nice phones, uh, types in PETA mm -hmm. on their social media pages, you'll get a very good idea of, uh, you know, why you have certain questions and why we Sometimes what we see is like a lot of graphic videos are uh, very disturbing but uh, until and unless we watch, uh, we don't watch them, we, we don't know what exactly is happening to animals. And yes, we urge each one of you over here to please go and watch these videos. Tell your family and friends what happens to animals in the clothing industry and uh, just try and avoid using that. The last question for the evening, please. Hi, I'm Rishma. Uh, I'd like to know, I agree with the value of Muta and uh, I try to make the most conscious choices when I go out to purchase. Uh, but I'd like to know that I've seen like, a lot of unaware audience, like the ones who actually say that, oh, this is pure level, and they feel proud about it, you know. But uh, I know that you know, that's wrong. And uh, if I tell them, because I know that if I tell them, and they'd be like, you know, also the alternative is like artificial leather. So I think the audience needs to be more aware, and I'd like to know uh, how is Pita India taking care of and initiative like that to you know, popularize it. That's why we have Sunny over here today, so that, you know, uh, most of you write about it, and your audience reads about it, watches these videos, and go and look up Pita leather videos. And, and why we're here, so thank you. This is yes. an amazing and platform. Of course, Black Museum is doing this uh, amazing, has this amazing initiative, and we are really looking forward to the next season, wherein, like, you know, we will have more sustainable uh, alternatives. So these are the mediums through which we, you know, uh, try to reach out to the public. So, and I'm sure, like, people like you play an important role, so when you go and convince your friends, uh, it means a lot, you know, even if if we are able to change one person over here today, I think it makes a whole lot of a difference. Thank you so much everyone. Thank you Sachin, thank you Sunny, thank you Jasreed, and thank you everyone. I hope you have somewhat made a pledge to yourself to change a few habits. If not, then go to Peter's website that, that does it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dash. Solo, solo. On that side. Brand ke pas. Hello, ma'am. Red Magia. Seven portrait cuts. <laughs>